everyone, welcome to another GDevelop tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to transform something like this into something like this by using uh, the new dynamic light feature uh, in GDevelop. Alright, as always I'll just uh, run uh, my example project and you know this feature is very easy to use uh, I'll show you in a minute how to just add it to your game in a few steps uh, but I wanted to show you also some extra stuff that you can do with this uh, for example uh, in this project my pirate has uh, like a lamp or la lantern uh, or whatever you want to call it and I didn't want that lamp just to glow uh, and that's it I wanted to add a little movement there of the lights so it's kind of uh, flickering uh, all the time you see uh, so that's what I'm going to show you today, very short tutorial, very easy stuff to do, uh, so yeah, let's jump into making this. Okay, here we go, this is a new project, uh, I have no light here, no nothing, I just have my floor tiles and I have my character here, uh, I have a few events here just to make uh, the camera follow my uh, character, and it looks like this. So I made those tiles uh, ugly on purpose, so then I can show you how dynamic light can actually make them look nice. So let's start immediately adding some lights here. So if we add a new object and now from this version of GDevelop we have this object called light. And now we can, uh, okay, I just name it like light1 and pick a color. I'll choose something like on blue tones and maybe just slightly here i don't want it to be completely white uh radius we don't care at the moment because we'll be controlling that from the events but i'll put something like 500 and uh, just type apply and now i can actually drag it to my uh you know scene and one thing that happened now is actually automatically uh this layer new layer uh lighting uh, have been created with some settings there and uh automatically every light goes to this layer okay so let's just hit play and see what will happen and what will happen here we have just the glow here and no shadows no nothing so uh, to activate shadows we need to actually choose which objects will actually throw shadows so uh, one thing we can do is uh, double click our platform go to behaviors and add a new behavior and there is a new behavior here as well, so it's like light obstacle behavior. So every object we, uh, that will have this uh, behavior will uh, obstruct the light. So now if I hit play, you will see some shadows going on here. So we already applied some dynamic light there. Uh, but you know, it looks a little bit dull, uh, it, you know, it's not attached to our player, so uh, let's try to make it a little bit more uh, interesting than that. Uh, so first thing, um, just here for my player, I have created a new point uh, here when the lantern is, I called it flame, or I can, I can actually change it to light point, something like that, and close, so it's there, it's right there uh, where is the lamp, and uh, I can choose here to, you know, uh, say light one position of an object, always equals to um, pirate point x and the point is uh, light sorry light point okay and the same we should do so copy and paste for the y and I'll just change x to y here and choose equals here so now our light should always follow uh, the player. And just by doing that, uh, you see it starts to look a little bit more interesting. We have some dynamic shadows going on as soon as we get towards those objects. And it's, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm still not happy 100% with this because this doesn't look like a real lamp or lantern. So first of all, it doesn't glow uh, that much. It just throws some shadows and has a little slight glow here and you know it doesn't move uh, i want to have this movement of uh, like uh, when the flame is burning when the light uh, is flickering you know uh, so we'll add that uh, so, but first of all i want to make that light a little bit brighter uh, to do that i will not affect this light i'll just create another one uh, so let's add another light and i call it light 2. okay 
Now, uh, this is gonna be our glow, actually. So, so I'll call it light 2. And I want it to go a little bit more orange, red, something, something here, okay? Uh, as a radius, once again, we don't care, but uh, I'll just make it smaller, maybe 200, maybe 150, okay? Cool. And I'll just uh, drag it into the scene. And this light, uh, I want it to be on my base layer, so it's gonna be on top of my lantern. Uh, so now let's go to the events and copy and paste this once again. Uh, because I want it to follow, obviously, um, the our player, and I just replaced light 1 with light 2. So now if we hit play, we have this more powerful light there. So our lamp is actually glowing, okay? And it looks already way nicer. So uh, the last bit I want to do here now is uh, really just to make it uh, flickering. Uh, in order to do that, I'll just change the radius of uh, my lights continuously uh, by random numbers, random range of numbers. So let's start with light number one. I'll take light number one, I choose radius, and I go here and I type random. Uh, we'll choose this one. And this is a big light, so I would say the range could be something like 350 to 400. So it will continuously change the number between uh, within this range, okay? So I hit apply and hit OK and see how that looks. And now you see it's actually flickering, it looks more natural now. Uh, and I want to do the same thing here with this uh, orange light here, it will look even better. So I'll just copy paste this one, choose light 2, and the range should be smaller. So I think something like maybe 60, 70 might work. Okay, let's try that out. Yeah, that, that looks very nice. So, as you can see, we created like a kind of cool light there. Uh, it's flickering, we have some, you know, shadows here and there. Uh, maybe the background is a bit too bright. Uh, maybe we can actually make it make that a little bit darker. Uh, and another thing I would like to add here, just to make it look uh, nicer, uh, some other lights uh, here and there. So, let's try to do that. So, let me try to set the background a little bit darker or we can actually change the ambient so ambient light color uh, this will actually alternate things quite nicely so if I go somewhere here maybe that's gonna be enough let's see how that looks oh yeah that looks way better it's a really nice dark place which we can light up with our dynamic light so let me add a few more lights here just to make it all look a little bit nicer so as you might know already we just add another light i call it uh, i don't know ambient light uh, i'll choose a color which is something along line along these lines something like green um, radius i want to make it quite big 500 apply and I'll just put it here and there, you know, like, really, doesn't matter, just like that, and see how this looks. So, uh, if we go around, you see there's some lighter places, our lights interact with each other, creating more shadows. Uh, I think the color is a little bit the same, so I want to make that a little bit different. Uh, let me choose some more powerful green maybe uh, maybe maybe even more somewhere here let me try that oh my god I can't jump there okay this this I mean looks quite interesting I think you can add those slides to create some ambient and you see like how from a really really ugly uh, level we actually created something visually interesting and this is all thanks to our new dynamic light in gdevelop 
Uh, and I mean, like, you can do way more things with this. I think I'll do another tutorial explaining a little bit more. This is fresh, I just tried it yesterday. So, um, you know, I think this is it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope this was interesting. And if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel, join my Discord server, follow me on Twitter, and uh, see you next time for another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.